Thank you, Madam President. I'd also like to echo the words of those colleagues who've thanked Linda McAvan for the excellent job she's done and European patients are much safer as a result of this amended regulation and directive and uh, it shows that patients are one of our priorities. I don't want to go back over everything that has been said, all I can say is expressing my support for what's been said. Uh, there are two things I would like to say however. Firstly, the economic crisis is uh, forcing us to backpedal when it comes to the healthcare sector and given the presence of the Commissioner I wanted to make it very clear that we cannot allow the economic crisis to create a situation where a package of measures relating to patients or drugs or healthcare services can be all put on a back burner and put on a, in a waiting list. All of these measures are absolutely vital when it comes to medicines, to patients, to health care. All of this is absolutely vital, particularly in a time of crisis. A second point is that in 2010, when we voted on the OTC directive, uh, we thought there was a step forward. But now what we've seen is a step backward with regard to uh, medicines and drugs. In 2012, something that is considered to be a rare case in 2010 is now an epidemic. People are dying because they don't have enough access to drugs that they need. And I really think that we as European Union need to respond to this uh, problem if we're to make any progress at all in the field of healthcare. These issues are essential for the people of Europe. Thank you very much. I agree with Madame Matthias that we cannot allow the financial crisis to punch holes in our healthcare system. Health is, in my view, a fundamental right of all our citizens. Apart from this, health is a major motor of economic growth. And cutting health is a major fallacy. We look forward to the adoption of the new legislation and its application, and which will benefit you citizens by strengthening both safety and transparency, in particular through a greater number of medicinal products that will be subject to increased monitoring. Thank you very much.